Hello, you gnome fetishists. Jim Sterling here, and this is Dungeons of Cragmar. This is a game in early access. It's been developed by Digital Homicide, a studio I'm sure many of you are well aware of by now. Um, I intend to approach this game with a very open mind. Um, Digital Homicide have said they've taken the criticisms on board and have spent more time developing this game than they have any other game. So I really am approaching it from that angle. Uh, I am hoping it's good. I would weep tears of joy if Digihome came out good in this. But we'll see. We'll see. That's enough spiel from me. Uh, I did not realise it was an online game. But there, there was a server there with four people playing. Let's let's go be the fifth. Here we go. So it's a nice art style. Um, Digital Homicide, of course, are very famous for buying assets from the Unity Store and putting those in their games. So I don't know how much of this is original. I'm sure people will find out after the fact and tell me. But, it's it's cohesive. I'll give it that. Whether this is original or not, everything looks like it should belong in the same world, which is which is good. It's a, it's a nice positive step. Okay. So, simple FPS rules apply. I'm assuming that's a bad guy. This evil bee here. Oh god, the evil bee's come close. Go away, evil bee. Yay! Imbued material. Okay, we just pick that up by walking on it. That's good. So, I can see in the corner it says you are hungry and not healing. So, we're going to need food, I guess. We've got wood and stone in our inventory at the bottom there. Interesting. I'm going to shoot this fucking bee, ain't I? Oh, that's, that's convenient. You just hold down the mouse and it'll go do the rest. So that's some stuff. Silver bar. Heavy ration. Oh, rations. That's good. Uh, this bee appears to be completely frozen. But let's see if we can wake him up with a magic spell. Oh, hello. Let's uh, get some distance. Oh, they catch up quick. Click, 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 click. Right. Where's our inventory? Okay, I does not give us our inventory. C? No? Command list. Okay, hang on. You bear with me. I've got to squint a little bit. Summon wood harvester, summon stone harvester, one eight hot bar, yep, cloud of confusion, F interact interact. F is all interacting stuff. Escape from main menu, M opens mini map, well that helps to have a map. May affect frame rate. Tab opens player interaction windows. So tab. With this little fucking thing. That's horrific. Alright, fair enough. Um, heavy rations. Okay. Still says starved. How unusual. The, uh... What the hell's happened to all the text in the corner now? It's all gone weird language. How strange. Oh, there's chat going on. It's Robert! Robert at Digital Homicide. We're going to have it uh, enters game messages soon. Zanko Gaming. That'd be a cool feature. Robert's AFK a bit. Cool, have fun. So, we are sharing a server with Robert himself. The man who famously called me an asshat and accused me of... Oh, shit. Oh, no, no. It's another thing. No, are you good? Oh, no, shit! Oh, this is some PvP shit going on. Oh, no. 
Jim Sterling was blown to pieces, it says in the corner. I hope Robert doesn't see that. I fucking laugh. So have I lost everything? I'm gonna go shoot the shit out of that person again. Press enter to chat. I forgive thee, child. There we go. Right. Let's carry on. They seem remorseful. They seem remorseful, so I won't. I'll. I won't attack them. We're still. Okay, it's gone from starved to satiated in the corner there. Although it is hard to make out. The white on the green text isn't brilliant. But hey, I mean, they got online working, which they never really seemed to do for slaughtering grounds. Well, at the very least, they didn't find any other fuckers stupid enough to play it. So I'm going to wander down here and shoot more bees. You're quite welcome, Zanko Gaming. Okay, come on, you bee bastard. What have we got? Loaf of bread and beef jerky? Hell yeah. Oh, we're going to eat so much beef jerky. I will say this. So far playing, this is Digital Homicide's best effort. That, that I've just from the outset. It could turn to shit or it could get better. You don't know. I don't know yet. But if these are store bought assets, they've done a good job of piecing together things that look like they belong in the same world. This is all stylistically consistent. It's running online with no problems. You know, we, we met Zanko Gaming there and got blown to bits but it's it's okay uh oh whoa hungry wolf you might be hungry like the wolf but but i'm the girls on film i was trying to do a duran duran comeback it didn't work it didn't work but i'm going to shoot this corrupted treant in the back oh god this one fires things oh no no don't eat me <laughs> prick. So, I read the store page, as I often want to do. Uh, the game promises... Well, it says it's an FPS survival hybrid, and it's got some crafty things in it. You can interact with towers and things. And build, like, a home base. Whoa! No one asked you to get involved! Hang on, bear with me. Let me just deal with this. Everything's running at a consistent frame rate as well. I mean, I'll be honest, like, I think the time taken is paying off. Oh, hello. I didn't even think to right click. That's done some stuff too. Oh shit, was that me? Let me just double check. Yeah, that's me. Can make a little meteor storm. Cool. Okay. Well, we're not really dealing any damage to that. Let's go over here, see what this is. A magical barrier prevents you from entering. Oh, all right, fine. Didn't want to enter anyway. Oh, let's see what Zanko's got to say. I've been playing for about an hour, and I really don't think it's awful. It's not great, but I've had some fun with it, which is more than I can say for any previous digital homicide game. I'm inclined to agree. As soon as I'm done fighting these bastards. Oh. I'm going to say. I say I'm inclined to agree. The extra time taken seems to have... Paid off. And really, I, I don't think I can say fairer than that. I, I know it's it's fun to see me tear Digital Homicide apart, but... But th this is the day I've been waiting for. A day where I'm playing a Digital Homicide game, and... And it... I'm not having the worst time. Like, I, I might actually cry. 
they've done the things I've been asking them to do for like almost two years. Oh shit. Run away from Robert! Robert from Digital Homicide's trying to fuck me up! That's all this game is! It was revenge! It was revenge! Jim Sterling met his maker. I hope that's not Robert referring to himself. Okay, let's find him again. He's around here somewhere. I couldn't see him. Like maybe he had some invisibility spell. Oh, there he is. You gotta run and get closer. Yeah, come on. You're done. You're brown bread. Oh, that's Anko Gaming. Shit. Sorry, I thought you were Robert. Uh, if you have any questions about game, feel free to ask Jim. I'm, s I'm assuming he meant feel free to ask and then was calling me by my name. But I like the idea that he was telling other people in the chat that if they've got any questions about the game, they should ask me. Look at this, though. Jim Sterling versus Robert, a digital homicide, facing off. What a clash of the titans. Oh no, at least... Uh, I don't even care who I kill, really. I want to... I want the thrill of death as well. I want to know what that feels like. Oh, I got them both. Or at least Zanko got Robert and then I got the other. Robert at Digital Homicide was shredded by mystical power. Zanko was shredded by mystical power. And then Jim Sterling has faded into the vortex. So that was fun. We've all just mullered the shit out of each other. Back into the breach we go. I would actually like to explore more of the game now, rather than just get into fights with, with old Robbie. So let's, oh shit. What was that? Oh, it's just a bee. Come here, evil bee. Man, we've had like a really good week on the channel as far as quality games go. Like we had, we've played The Witness this week. We've played Dark Mouse this week that I really loved. I mean, we, we're going into the weekend with a digital homicide game that I'm enjoying. I mean, it's a fairy tale week. And I, I will say it, I'm, I'm finding this rather enjoyable. There's no lag, no connection errors, it's... Yeah. And we even completed a kill task. I didn't even know that was a thing. Need to charge staff out of right clicks. So, you can only do that a few times, I guess. We're hungry again in our meter at the top. We do have rations and whatnot. Heavy rations. Om nom 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 nom. Bloodstone spell component, flower, imbued material, crafting. We need pixie dust. How much of that have we got? Oh, not enough. Not enough. Not enough. So there's a full-on crafting system. So that's something we can think about. We got quests here. These are all just kill quests. So it's it's not exactly Skyrim, you know. Um, what's that Arbok? It's a fucking, it's a big spike, that's, a, I like that snake. Whatever asset pack that came from, that was a good choice. Look at it. I want a tattoo of it on my balls. Towers. So we need to craft these out of wood and stone. 
What? I want to hear that again. <laughs> one more time. That is one of the cheeriest notifications that I do not have stuff ever. Right. Let's see. That's our little wood gatherer. Sorry, the uh, I lost the recording a little bit there. Um... I'm in a dungeon, I don't know when it stopped recording. But we're in a dungeon. Ah! That's that horrible fucking trumpet noise again. I don't think the video, I don't think I caught footage of the, vid, the, the trumpet noise, but there's a trumpet noise that keeps happening in this dungeon that I think is signifying bad things happening. But we're okay, we're all right. So yeah, we went in this dungeon, here's where the frame rate's taking a little bit of a dive. Um. Not unplayably bad, but it is there. But, this is one of those instances where I'm like, that's an, a potential early access thing to look at, because the game is in early access, and unlike a lot of early access games, and unlike, unlike previous DH games, there's potential enough here that I'm like, yeah, I can give some constructive feedback rather than just being flabbergasted. So, so yeah, good. Oh, look at that. Looking at Robert in the chat there, he explains you can attack other people's towers. So there goes me thinking that's a nice little safe bank to zone. Oh, shit. Oh, come on, guys. Well, there they are. They're in the default, the default crucifix pose, as I call it. Oh, you silly little assets. Come here. Come here and let me kiss you. Oh, I think that that tears it on that front. That's a shame. That one wasn't even on the ground. Come on. Come on, you shitty orc. Oh god, he just he just descended into the the cold stone. Then, come on. Well. At least it made it easy to get rid of them. Okay. I think what happens is um, the map, the the button I used to record is also mapped to the stone pet, which I can't seem to summon at all. Um, so this is all gonna. It's gonna be a bit of an awkward edit. I don't know how much content's been missing from my recording. I've been playing it for like half an hour, I think, now. Okay, you're not going to come to life, are you? Nah. Just spiders and ghosts. Go, 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 ghosts! Right, come on. Come on! Fucking eat it! Come on, hurry up! Fucking die, prick. So we, we're in deep in this. No more bees and fucking mushrooms to deal with. Well, that spider's running away. Oh, there's another player. There's Zanko again, although they're invisible. Which I'm, be I'm beginning to suspect is not the result of a spell or anything, but that is some sort of error. So again, problems. Clearly, this is not a perfect situation. Where rat scoundrel? <laughs> he looks hilarious. Fucking idiot. Come on. Oh god, it's actually attacking now. Now it's not so funny. Oh, sunk through the ground. Fair dues. I think that's my favourite enemy of the game so far. The where rat scoundrel. These ones aren't in the default pose either, so that's nice. Okay, what you got for me? Rations and materials. Right, let's get this one finished and then we'll have another little munch on rations. Yeah, some of that. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. Nothing of note. 
there isn't really like treasure chests and things. Like all the loot seems to come from enemies. So, oh, it's the Arbok! Brilliant. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, they're gonna kill the shit out of me. Oh! Well, that was that. Oh, well. So that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it there. That's... What was it? Dungeons of Craigmore? Craigmore? Craig and... Dungeons of Craig. It was Dungeons of Craig. Um, yeah! I, I am honestly, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit sentimental. It, is it perfect? No, but it's something, and it's it's okay. It's that it's very okay, and this is just them starting. Hopefully, they listen to feedback and all that kind of stuff and improve it. And I'll, I'll, I will say this much: good luck. I wish them well on this. I out of you know, I've I've looked at almost every single game they've ever done or tried to do. Um, they've all always been irredeemably shite, and this one isn't. It isn't, and that's that really does count for something. Uh, I'm 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 happy, and I'm going to keep an eye on this one, and hopefully it gets better from here. Hopefully, I mean they. they you know, th this is what happens if you actually, if you listen to feedback and, and really try, you know, good things can happen. Yeah. That's good.